Hey everyone, Sam with Rococo here. Today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to get our new smart gloves up and running in Rococo Studio. I'll be using them alone, but the release of smart gloves means that true full performance capture with face, body, and hands is within reach, no pun intended. So we'll also take a look at the live streaming capabilities of the Rococo ecosystem in Unreal Engine 4. Let's jump into it. First, let's connect our smart gloves to Rococo Studio. The process for connecting the gloves is the same as for a smart suit. Connect the glove by USB-C to the computer, and we'll see a pop-up that a new device has been connected. Click on the pop-up, then select your Wi-Fi, enter the password, and choose the top option in the IP address dropdown. If we exit out, we should now see our glove in the scene. There we go. Okay, so now let's actually put on our gloves. The smart gloves have six sensors, one in each finger and thumb, and one on the wrist to capture arm movement. Each glove needs to be powered via USB-C from a battery pack. We have put a link to the batteries we recommend in the description below, but pretty much any USB battery pack with a USB-A input should work. I'm actually going to use a single battery with two outputs to power both gloves. We'll plug in our gloves to the battery. It takes a little force to actually connect the USB cable, which we've designed intentionally so the cables don't come out during operation. Our gloves will pop up in our scene. There we go. And we'll add them to an actor profile. Okay, so we've got our gloves in the scene, but as you can tell, they don't quite look right. And that's because we still need to orient them in space. So we will perform a prayer pose to orient them correctly. Basically just hold our hands like this. And there we go. Now our gloves are oriented in space correctly. If I face them forward, they'll face forward, backwards, backwards, and we're up and running. So in addition to doing all the kind of normal hand mocap, our gloves can also do finger spread. So that's something that we're really proud of, uh, which is a fairly unique feature. And our fingers can actually also bend backwards, which is uh, similar to what your fingers actually do in real life. As you can tell here from my right hand, fingers bent backwards, and you can see that reflected in the character. If we zoom in here, we can check out the gloves in a little bit more detail. We can run through some finger movements. One, two, three, four, five, See our thumb movement there, thumbs on the outside, thumbs under our fingers. Ooh. Yeah. The gloves also don't use any magnetic sensors, so you can pick up metallic objects just fine and you won't have any problems with the gloves. Just keep kind of running through some motions here. We also have two different modes for visualizing the gloves. Right now you can tell that my wrists are locked in place and I like uh, using the gloves this way standalone because it means that I can easily see where, you know, what the gloves are doing without my arm kind of swinging around in space. However, we also have a mode where you can have your hands translating through space. We'll do another prayer pose. And there you go, you can see that now my hands are actually, you know, moving through space. So there could be different uses for both of these modes, you know, kind of depending on what you're doing. You want to get some actual translation there. There you go. We've also been hard at work updating our plugins to work with our new gloves when live streaming to your 3D programs. Now you can get full performance capture, face, body, and gloves easily streaming live in Unreal, Blender, Maya, iClone, and other programs. Here I have full performance capture streaming to a character in Unreal that I have rigged up for face capture. 
If we take a look at the blueprint for our character in Unreal, you can see that the setup is still nice and clean. So that's pretty much it for this video. We just wanted to give you guys a look into how the gloves work in Rococo Studio and the results of streaming full performance capture into Unreal. We are really proud of the gloves. We think that they're a fantastic addition to anyone's mocap capabilities. And we're so excited to see what you guys come up with when you get your hands on them. Again, no pun intended. Okay, have fun creating mocap out there and we will see you on the next one. Thanks everyone.